Hello, and welcome to the next video for Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul. I've been having a blast with this game. It's somewhat traumatizing. And despite some hiccups with some minor jump scares and that sort of thing, um, I've, I've been thoroughly enjoying myself. <sighs> now, something I noticed is that since the basement summoning scene, when the ghost took my flashlight clean out of my hand and threw it against the fucking wall, I haven't had a flashlight since, yet I've continued to find and pick up batteries along the way. That was weird to me. So I took a look online and found out that there is in fact another flashlight uh, that you should be able to pick up immediately following the summoning scene. I have been down there more than once since and didn't find it or see it because I'm stupid. So I'm going to start this video off by trying to backtrack my way to the basement to find and pick up that flashlight. Um, with where I left off, though, I'm a little concerned that the door behind me is now locked and I actually can't get back into the main house to get it. So, fingers crossed if that's the case that I don't actually need the flashlight to progress through the game. <clears throat> the Zippo has worked <laughs> exactly this much when it comes to providing me with light in the darkened environments. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, at least I didn't forget to bring the head with me. <sighs> okay. Oh, good. I'm outside of that place, so I should be able to... Go to the basement and get the flashlight. <gasps> there it is. Oh, that's just creepy as shit. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, there's another cassette over here, too. Do hear you, kid. <clears throat> All right, I can do this. That's what I need to do. Great.
What did you do? We never let anything happen to you. You know that, right? I will always protect you, okay? Alright. I'm gonna stop recording before you catch me and end up killing me. Jesus. Mike!
What's next? Picture candle. Come on. Kid. Why are you just standing there? God damn it. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Our big front yard in front of our brand new house. Hell yeah. Hey, honey. Check this out. It's a box of videotapes. Huh. VHS. Blake number five, huh? That game was so fucking scary. The ritual at the end was intense. And then when the door slammed shut and the girl stopped running and she didn't turn around or say anything, she just fucking stood there. I had this deep sense of dread, like I've seen this movie before, I should stay the fuck away from her. And I was right. I wasn't right that there was something wrong with the little girl. At least not right up until then. Now I'm right. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed the game, scared the absolute shit out of me on no less than three occasions, and uh, being in VR really, really made that uh, more intense, really amped that up. I don't know that I'll play it again, but uh, as I understand it, there is an alternate ending. If you want to see me uh, play through the game on hardcore mode uh, to get through and uh, uh, record the alternate ending, uh, and whatnot, uh, let me know. Leave a comment or whatnot on the video. And, um, well, I'll wear my brown pants to work. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for something awesome.